If you're looking for a practical, easy to follow playwright setup, this video will walk you through a complete end-to-end -end framework from scratch. It includes modern features like JUnit 5 integration, parallel execution, and detailed Allure reporting, and can be adapted to similar frameworks like Cucumber or TestNG. It's flexible and easy to maintain and works for both beginners and experienced users. Let's dive in. Open IntelliJ and create a new Maven project. Pick Java and Maven and use JDK 21 or newer. Click create and you'll get the usual Maven layout with a pom.xml file along with project directories. We just need to create a resources directory under test since we'll be mostly working from there. Now open the pom.xml file. This is where all project dependencies will be defined. To get started, first head over to playwright.dev and look for the Maven dependencies section to find the latest release version and copy paste it into the POM file. Next, let's add JUnit 5 dependencies. After adding the JUnit version, we need to include the JUnit bill of materials to make sure the dependencies are versioned and standardized correctly. We'll now add Allure for test reporting. Allure will allow us to generate rich HTML reports with all the details like graphs and screenshots. Next, I'll add a simple logging implementation that will print to the console for our debugging. We use the Maven Surefire plugin to run our JUnit tests and we can configure the Allure plugin here as well. We also pass a system property so all test runs right to target Allure results. The Allure Maven plugin then reads those results and produces the HTML report. We'll also add a Maven profile that can run Playwright CLI installer to download the browser binaries. Once you've added all these dependencies and saved your POM file, you can click the sync button and IntelliJ will sync the project. Now that we have the dependencies in place, we'll set up parallel execution configs. Create JNUIT platform properties file under test resources. In this file, we'll enable parallel execution at the class level, but keep tests within a class sequential. That gives us faster overall runs while avoiding shared state issues inside a class. I'll be using these properties here. Enable parallel execution, parallel mode as same thread, and set class level concurrency, and make the thread count fixed and limit the max parallel classes to something like four, but you can change this to a higher number depending on your machine's resource usage limits. With this configuration in place, JUnit 5 will automatically queue and run the test classes in parallel. Next, we need to set up custom options for Playwright. Create a class inside a fixtures package this is where we centralize Playwright configuration for the test suite, things like headless mode and base URLs. We'll define these variables using system get property so that we can override runtime behavior from the command line or a CI pipeline. And we'll make sure to provide default values for those. So we'll set a base URL for the UI test. If you want to combine UI and API flows, set the API base URL here as well. Then API requests will use relative endpoints, which makes it easy for things like creating test data through an API and validating it on the UI. Here we configure a browser context and enable video recording for each test context, which will save video clips to target videos. In Playwright, a context is like an isolated browser profile where cookies, local storage, and other state are scoped to the context. Okay, now we'll add failure handling, so fail tests automatically capture artifacts. Create a class in the utils package. When a test fails, it needs to capture a full page screenshot and attach it to the Allure report. So this class will implement JUnit extension called after test execution callback that inspects the outcome after each test method completes. The small helper simply stores the page reference and returns the extension instance so you can register it before each test. After test execution runs right after the test method finishes. Here we'll first check if the test threw an exception. If so, then we proceed to capture the full page screenshot. 
Now let's add a base UI test class, which will wire everything together. This is the class that every UI test in the suite will extend. It centralizes Playwright configuration, registers the failure handling extension, and starts Playwright tracing for each test. This annotation tells Playwright's JUnit extension to use our custom options factory. Because of use Playwright, Playwright can inject page, browser, and other objects into test methods automatically. That keeps test methods very clean. You just declare a page parameter and it gets a result for you. In other words, Playwright creates and tears down the required resources for each test. We make this class abstract because it's a shared setup that test classes can inherit. This registers our failure handling extension with JUnit. Registering it as an extension means JUnit will call the extension lifecycle hooks for taking screenshots on failure and attaching traces to the Allure report. With the before each annotation, we can run steps at the start of every test. In our case, we start Playwright tracing with screenshots, sources, and snapshots enabled. And Playwright's tracing will record actions, DOM snapshots, network activity, and other rich debug information for that test run. So it's extremely useful when you need to diagnose failures. Then with the after each annotation, that will be called after each test, we stop and export Playwright tracing and attach it as a zip file. We also sanitize the file name and log a warning if there's any issue attaching the file. Okay, let's now write a simple test that shows how all this works. In real projects, you'll usually use page objects for structure and reuse, but for this first sample, we'll go to Wikipedia and do a basic search. This class extends base UI test. Here we navigate to the base URL like we configured in My Playwright Options. I'll pick an accessibility attribute for the search input locator and type Playwright and press Enter. Then we can simply assert on the resulting URL. In the next test within this class, we can verify the page heading text. Since we'll run classes in parallel later, make sure to keep your tests independent. We'll run this test first to validate the setup before moving on to the parallel demo. All right, now we'll use Maven to run the tests. After the tests are completed, the Allure result files should be generated under target Allure results. Running this command will build the report and open it in the browser where you can inspect execution logs, screenshots from failed tests, and trace files that show exactly what happened. If you prefer a static report for publishing or CI artifacts, you can also run this command to generate the HTML under target site, so you can upload it or archive it. Before we test parallel execution, create the second test class. I'll copy our first search test into this and tweak the expected URL so it intentionally fails, so we can use that to Check out how screenshots and traces show up in the Allure report. I'll also add another test in the same class that uses Playwright's API client. Because we configured API base URL in My Playwright Options, this test can accept an API request context parameter and call relative paths directly. Here I'll do a simple get call and assert the response is successful and that the body contains the word Playwright. But it would be a good idea to tag API-only tests so that we don't enable UI tracing for them. So let's add this tag to those tests. Next, we'll create a small utility class with a method that checks the test tags and returns true if the test is tagged API. Then in the before each and after each hooks, we can call that helper and do an early return for API tests so we can skip starting or stopping traces. We can print out the ID of the individual threads at the start of each test, so you can visually confirm in the logs that classes are running on different threads and there's no cross-class sharing of thread state. Okay, now run the suite with Maven again. With the parallel configuration we set up earlier, you should see all test classes executing concurrently, while tests inside each class still run sequentially. After the run, 
open the Allure report and inspect the failing test. You will see the screenshot and the trace attached right there. When you want to inspect the traces, Playwright's Trace Viewer is super handy. For a quick option, you can upload the zip to trace.playwright.dev by a drag and drop and check out the recorded actions and DOM snapshots locally in your browser. Everything stays client side on your browser, so nothing gets uploaded to the server. If this was useful and you'd like to go deeper, I've put together full step-by-step -step UI and API automation courses with real projects and downloadable code. Let me know what you'd like to see next and please like and subscribe.